Good morning everyone. So last night in the Mindful Resilience course with Yellow Beacon, we talked about the breath and the body. Now, for those of you that have worked with me or that know me, you know that I tend to try and avoid breath practices because if people aren't prepared, it can be quite activating or quite triggering. And when I talk about activation, I'm talking about our nervous system reacting. So perhaps it's going more into my kind of fight or flight mode. You know, feeling a bit overwhelmed, maybe the heart starts to beat faster, we don't feel as safe. And so we have to be quite careful when it comes to breath practices. However, at the same time, I also think the breath can be a wonderful anchor and it's something, or it's a resource that we can use everywhere at any time, which is why I'm doing it right now in the middle of the city as I travel to the airport. Um, it's a really busy morning, it's really noisy, and actually, it's a perfect time if you're maybe in a situation where you're feeling quite activated and quite stressed out and you feel that the breath is a resource that's helpful for you again consider all these things then maybe this is a go-to so here is a short practice so what to do is okay you're out and about you're feeling a little bit activated a bit stressed out your heart's maybe beating a little bit faster oh, maybe you're just your shoulders are a bit tense it's busy and uh, you decide, actually, yeah, the breath is something I'm comfortable with. I feel that I can use as a resource. So what you do is, first of all, press your feet into the ground. If you're seated or standing, it does not matter. You really want to press your feet into the ground. Feel that connection to the earth. Maybe shift the weight from one foot to the next. Maybe from the heel to the toe and the toe to the heel. So you're grounding yourself, first of all, and maybe really focusing your attention on the feet, maybe even using that as an anchor, so something external that you can focus on if you're struggling with the breath or everything else. Sometimes I just use the feet. So yeah, focus on the feet. Stand nice and tall or sit nice and tall. Imagine a piece of string drawing your head up to the sky and have your eyes open or closed, it's up to you. Now, what's really lovely is to use self-touch. So you can either place a hand on the chest or on the belly, okay? And just taking a moment just to allow the hand to rest there. Just for a moment, just noticing as you breathe naturally, we're not changing the breath here. It's like a check-in, a natural organic check-in. How is my breath? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it deep? Is it heavy? Is it light? I know for me, the faster my breath is, the more activated I am and the more I need to slow down. And that then means like, for example, right now, excuse me, hay fever, itchy nose right now, I'm noticing that my breath is quite fast. It's a busy morning for me. And so I'm just allowing my hand to rest on my chest. For me, it helps to add a little bit of pressure just to notice where is my, where is my breath? Perhaps notice if my chest is rising or falling or my belly is rising or falling. And just stay there as long as you need until you feel that you feel more grounded, more connected, more rested and your breath has settled. Okay, have a go. Tell me what you think.